hello everyone welcome back to civil learning online youtube channel and as we were learning derivative so here i am proceeding with the concept of derivative and we have come to some rule hope you have watched my lecture on how to do the derivative using the principles of derivative or the by definition and here also we will require some basic knowledge to solve any numerical which is uh, to be solved using the sum rule so first thing that i would like to let you know is derivative of x to the power n is n times x to the power n minus 1 and i have selected few numerical uh, problems which i am going to solve in this video so stay with me in this video till the end and without any further delay let's get started so our first question is 5x cube plus 4x square minus 2x plus 7 equals to 0 and one thing more that you need to know is derivative of constant with respect to anything is equal to 0 so let's proceed the solution of this numerical and i am solving few numerical in this video so this is the first numerical question so write solution and let y represents y equals to 5x cube plus 4x square minus 2x plus 7 later on i am going to write here differentiating differentiating on both side with respect to x means we are differentiating on both side with respect to x so what we will have here if we are differentiating so we will have here dy upon dx equals to d upon dx and in place of y we have 5x cube plus 4x square minus 2x plus 7 later on what we will do we will as we are applying the sum rule so we will multiply each and every term with the d upon dx so we will write here 5 times dx cube upon dx i hope you are getting my points and uh, we, we have again 4x square so i'm going to write it as plus 4 times d x square upon dx and minus 2 times dx upon dx and plus we have 7 so you can write it as d 7 upon dx or you can write 7 times d 1 upon dx okay because the derivative of constant is 0 so ultimately 7 uh, d 7 upon dx or d 7 times d 1 upon dx it will be 0 so now we will apply this rule that is derivative of x to the power n with respect to x is n times x to the power n minus 1 so we will have here 5 times x to the power n in place of n we have 3 so we will write here 5 times 3 times x to the power 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 will be 2 according to you by using this formula so we have again 4 times uh, derivative of x square by dx so we will have again n means 2 times x to the power 2 minus 1 is 1 minus 2 times derivative of x with respect to x so it will be 1 because either you can use the formula or you can remember also that dx upon dx is equal to 1 or if you use formula so dx x nothing means 1 so 1 times x to the power 1 minus 1 will be x to the power 0 means 1 so 1 times uh, x to the power 0 is 1 so we have this portion as 1 and derivative of constant is 0 so ultimately we will have 15x square plus 8x minus 2 this is the answer for the derivative of 5x cube plus 4x square minus 2x plus 7 and i am going to solve one more video and one, i will provide one bonus question in this lecture so our second question is x to the power 3 by 4 times x to the power 2 by 3 plus x to the power 1 by 3 and plus 1 i have selected this problem because we can solve this question by both the method by 
the sum rule also and by the product rule also but here i am discussing about the sum rule so i am going to solve this numerical using the sum rule in this lecture and in the upcoming lecture when i will discuss about the product rule i will show you how to solve this numerical using the product rule also so let's proceed the solution of this numerical now so again i am going to write solution here and second we will write y equals to as the question is x to the power 3 by 4 times x to the power 2 by 3 plus x to the power 1 by 3 plus x to the power oh sorry plus 1 okay this is the question next what we will do we will do the multiplication of of these terms which is inside the bracket with the x to the power 3 by 4 so what we will have here undoing the multiplication you know that x to the power m times x to the power n equals to x to the power m plus n so if we multiply 3 by 4 x to the power 3 by 4 and x to the power 2 by 3 we will have here x to the power 3 by 4 plus x to the power 2 by 3 so on doing the addition we will have as denominator is 12 so 4 times 3 so 9 plus 3 and 4 times 2 the 8 so we will have 17 upon 12 I hope you understood this fractional addition here so we will have here x to the power 17 upon 12 if not you can leave the comment I will explain you in the comment section so uh, let's not make this a video as short as possible so that it won't be that time consuming so again we have 3 by 4 plus 1 by 3 x to the power because x to the power 3 by 4 is multiplying with x to the power 1 by 3 so we will have here x to the power 3 by 4 plus 1 by 3 so again the denominator will be 2 well x to the power 2 well and we will have here uh, 4 3 times so 9 plus 3 4 times so we will have here uh, 13 upon 2 well x to the power 13 upon 2 well so again we have 13 upon 2 well plus x to x to the power 3 by 4 times 1 so we will have here x to the power 3 by 4 now what we will do we will uh, differentiate on both sides with respect to x so we will write here differentiating on both side with respect to x so what we will have here we will have dy upon dx equals to d upon dx and what we will ha we have here y equals to x to the power 17 upon 12 plus x to the power 13 upon 12 plus x to the power 3 by 4 so we will have here d x to the power 17 upon 12 upon dx plus d x to the power 13 upon 12 upon dx plus d x to the power 3 by 4 upon dx next what we will do we will apply the rule that is x to the power n derivative with respect to x is n times x to the power n minus 1 so we have x to the power 17 by 2 well so n in place of n we have 17 upon 2 well times x to the power 17 upon 2 well minus 1 using the formula again 13 upon 12 times x to the power 13 upon 12 minus 1 plus 3 by 4 times x to the power 3 by 4 minus 1 so on doing the subtraction i hope you know the fractional subtraction so we will have 17 upon 12 times x to the power let me show you one of the subtraction here we have 17 upon 12 minus 1 nothing means denominator is 1 now taking the lcm of the denominator that is 12 and 1 we will get 12 so 12 1 times so 17 times 1 minus 1 12 times so 1 times 12 we will have 17 minus 12 as a numerator so in 17 minus 12 we will have 5 upon 12 so we will have here x to the power 5 upon 12 similarly we have 13 upon 12 times x to the power 13 upon 12 minus minus 1 so we will have a, here 1 upon 12 plus 3 by 4 times uh, x to the power 3 by 4 minus 1 so we will have here x to the power 3 minus 4 and minus 1 upon 
4 so you can you, uh, let this be as a formula as the answer or you can proceed one more step that is 17 upon 12 times x to the power 5 upon 12 plus 13 upon 12 times x to the power 1 upon 12 plus 3 by 4 times we can write uh, this power that is x to the power minus 1 by 4 as 1 upon x to the power 1 upon 4 because law of indices says that x to the power minus n is equal to 1 by x to the power n that is what i have done here so you can leave here also as your answer or you can proceed one more step it is up to you so guys if you guys are up to here like watching the bonus question it means you are enjoying my lecture and if you are enjoying the lecture do share this video with your friend and do like this video and let's come to the bonus question and the question is we have x to the power 1 upon 2 plus x to the power minus 1 upon 2 whole square so now see i was teaching some rule but here we have power how we can solve this using the power rule oh sorry some rule are you guys confused see here what we will do next so whenever you are trying to apply the some rule on such question which has power you should try to open it up so i will write like let y equals to x to the power 1 upon 2 plus x to the power minus 1 upon 2 whole square next what we will do y equals to now we we know that a plus b whole square formula is a square plus 2 a b plus b square that is what we are going to do here in place of a we have x to the power 1 by 2 so a 1 upon 2 a square plus 2 a this is a and this is b so b and in place of b we have x to the power minus 1 upon 2 plus b square means x to the power minus 1 upon 2 whole square so on solving this we will have y equals to 1 by 2 and bracket 2 1 x to the power 1 by 2 and bracket in bracket 2 means x to the power 1 by 2 times 2 so 2 and 2 get cancelled so x plus 2 times x to the power 1 by 2 times x to the power minus 1 by 2 means we will have because base are same so again we will apply law of indices here so 1 by 2 and plus minus 1 upon 2 because base are same so power should be added that is the law of indices so 1 by 2 plus minus 1 by 2 we are adding this plus x to the power again it is inside the bracket so 1 minus 1 by 2 times 2 so 2 to get cancelled so x to the power minus 1 this is our this is going to be our y so we will have here y equals to x and in place of uh, in terms of here we have x to the power 0 means 1 so plus 2 plus x to the power minus 1 this is our y now we will differentiate on both side with respect to x so we will write here differentiating on both side with respect to x so we will have here dy upon dx equals to d upon dx times x plus 2 plus x to the power minus 1 now d upon d now we will do the uh, multiplication with d upon dx we can say that so d or uh, x by dx equal plus 2 times d 1 upon dx plus dx to the power minus 1 upon dx next we know that derivative of x with respect to x is 1 plus derivative of this constant will be 0 so 0 times 2 is 0 so 0 plus now see here we have x to the power minus 1 so minus 1 times x to the power minus 1 minus 1 what we will have here 1 plus 0 minus and 1 minus uh, times x so x to the power minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 will be minus 2 so next we will have here 1 minus we you, you can leave it as your answer or you can proceed one more step that is you can write it as 1 minus we can write it as 1 minus x to the power minus 2 or you can write it as 1 minus 1 upon 
x square again law of indices i hope you enjoyed this today's lecture see you in the next video and if you are enjoying the content on civil learning online youtube channel then do like this video and share this video with your friend and see you in the next video once again have a good day guys